And what that shows actually is that it proves all cats come from the Fertile Crescent. So domesticated cats, they were first semi-domesticated when we, when we first started building farms on the Fertile Crescent. Okay. 12,000 years ago. Basically, that's where we first started farming. That is the beginnings of where our civilization, like our no longer hunter-gathering lifestyles began, where it became these villages centered around bodies of water and farms. Immediately when we started building fields with like, full of food, grain, right? I swear a problem. So rodents have always been a problem for agriculture. So just as soon as we are beginning to cultivate the the ground, right? Uh, we are semi-domesticating cats. We are using cats to manage rodent populations and protect fields of grain. Mm. And the first cats that we are using are the African wild cats. The first time that we actually began to hardcore domesticate cats was about a thousand years after the formation of ancient Egypt. The first time that... So, wait, the Egyptians were the first ones? To truly domesticate them. And actually, the first time that someone was buried with their cat was 9,500 years ago in Cyprus. So, for at least... 9,500 years ago. It was someone was entombed with... They basically found a skeleton of a cat with them. Hmm. Well, that's long before ancient Egypt. So there's some evidence that we were domesticating them. So the difference between a semi-domestication and a true domestication, at least in reference to cats, is how much we let them live inside. Obviously, a 100% indoor cat is a domesticated cat. And what this graph shows us is that these cats from around the world, Africa, Asia, Australia, East Asia, the list goes on. Every domesticated cat that we have around the world come from the Near East region or otherwise these North African wildcats.